Hi guys, Paul from PA Brew News. We got some grains here. We're gonna let that hang a little bit, get some of that stuff out of there. We're gonna be making an Imperial Stout today and a Peppermint Patty Imperial Stout. Let's see how it works. I got my helper here, say hi. Hi. Hi, there we go, she's helping and learning. Um, we're gonna do a kit batch today. So today I'm going to steep and actually I gotta get this the hell out of there pop, and then wait for the full rolling with the boils coming pop the hops in and then let that cool overnight tomorrow we're gonna do the next boil pop everything together and top the cool cool the water on top of that to help uh, get it down to temp so I can pop my yeast in well until then cheers. okay guys Paul here again from PA Brew News we got the little helper here we're gonna do our 60 minute hop edition of Northern Brewer hop so Morgan why don't you dump the hops in please Perfect. Now give them a stir. There we go. Alright, thank you big helper. We'll be back for a 30 minute hop edition. Hi guys, Paul from PA Brew News. I just realized I was doing a homebrew, so gotta drink a homebrew, right? This is Paul Wicksteen's, uh, Wicksteed's uh, from Time for Another One. The SJ Pour Challenge entry. Time for another one. This is his Black Garlic Porter. Let's see. Brown porter. Mm. Let's see. What do we got? 5.6 ABV. Couldn't see it on there. Here we go. Got it right here. Are you done? No, of course I'm not done. There it is up to light. Wow. Mahogany. Mahogany city up to light. Right up to the light. So there that is. It looks really nice and dark, but you put up the light. Boom! Look at that. Clear, clear as a bell. Not clear as a bell, huh? completely different. All right, here we go. Let's give it some smells. Okay, smell. wow. Well, smell it? Peppery? Ugh. Ugh. Stinky. Stinky? Yeah, toasted grains, soft, smoky note. Definitely got the pepper going on. I'm gonna hammer up right there. She's hammering it up. <laughs> hammering it up. Got you. <laughs> yep. I can, I can it's see got a, it's got a low, low medium body. <laughs> I'm always getting a slight roasted nut we'll quality of peanut or an we'll almond in there. Very soft, shush. Very soft, peppery note. It's actually not overbearing at all. Adds kind of a light, of course the light pepper note, but trying to trying to get there's something else like a soft spice that's adding it to it besides pepper, lifting it up a little bit. Mm. It's blending really well with the roasted notes. I like that. Not really chocolate or coffee, just toasty and smoky grains, mixing with that uh, with that pepper. I don't know if you used white pepper or black pepper. No, black pepper for the black garlic. Garlic. Why did I say pepper? That's what I'm getting. I'm getting garlic, you idiot. Oh. Why did I say pepper? Oh, no, there's this kind of peppery note and there's something else. What is it? It's garlic, you idiot. It says it right there. Well, this has been Paul waking up way too early trying to do a homebrew and a beer review day. So now you've seen me screw up everything. But I'm getting it and it's blending smoothly. I like it. I don't know what kind of hops you use, but I know Summit hops are supposed to give this kind of onion garlic. Oh, actually, ooh, around that time, I almost got like a wild, fresh pulled onion taste in there, too. That's nice. This is a really interesting brew. A little light on the body, but it is a porter, so that's kind of great. I try to be careful with this. Overall, I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. I really like it. I think it's nice. I drink a bunch of these because it, it just has that kind of unique character, but it doesn't get away from that pot. It's hot. You get burnt. Um, but yeah, thanks a lot, Paul, for sending me these. Um, yeah, 8 out of 10. This is a good beer. So, until I see you again, cheers. And happy home. Alright guys, we're back. We're going to do a final 30 minute hop edition. And that's all the hops we're going to put because I'm pretty sure the adjuncts I'm going to use are pretty much going to foreshadow most of other things. But, Morgan, my little helper here is going to put a 5 ounce of Northern Brewer in. So why don't you pop that in, Morgan? Excellent. And give it a stir. 
And that'll conclude today's uh, homebrew. We're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna let that cool down after it sits for another 30 of boil. Let everything work in, and we're gonna transfer it to two gallon containers. Pop it in the fridge, let it cool down, and we're gonna help let let that chill to wart before we pop and this yeast in tomorrow. And then you're done. And then I'm done. And drink it. Now I gotta wait till the yeast works, then we'll drink it. Probably gonna use SO4 okay, on this for one. Sorry for the lighting. So, but here's the liquid malt extract going in. You probably can't see anything. But, yep, there's the liquid malt extract going in. <laughs> there's my helpers. They're helping, so there you go. And after that, we're gonna put boiling water in there. Okay, and guys, top right it up now we're boiling water, there. and we're actually trying to extract all the all the stuck on uh, sugars and whatnot from making the infusion with the peppermint patties and whatnot. So, boiling water, it's actually pretty pretty good, looking pretty good. It's almost time. We're gonna have we're starting to have a lot of bubbles and movement in there. So then we're gonna transfer it over into. I got the light, so you can see it better. We're gonna transfer over into this and and into the liquid malt. There's Rowan blocking the light. Hi. Hi. Uh, and then we're gonna use my trusty stirrer, stirrer to do some stirring. We got a little container right there with water in it and um, yeast extract. And then we have yes. our, well, hopefully the air rock we're gonna use over there, all sterilized. That might be, yeah problematic because I think these Imperial Stouts tend to foam like a mofo. So we'll see. We'll see how it starts. I might have to root around and get myself a blow off tube unit. I'm actually almost 100% I will. I just don't have time right now. So anyway, sorry about the light. Yeah, anyway, we're gonna pour here I guess. All right. So I probably okay, I can't guys, show you what I'm pouring. It's in. Nobody it. died. Okay Rowan, Morgan, can you please pick this up? Thank you. Just hold it right there and don't touch it. This gets shoved into there. Into there. Shoved into there. And we go to the bottom and we give it a. Hey. And we're going to do this for quite a while. And we're also going to pick it up, tip it, shake it, the whole deal. So, just so I show you some of the goodness that you already know about it. Yep, hold it right there. Back it up. Perfect. Oh. Just keep holding it. <laughs> okay, guys. Get, okay, guys. We're gonna put some of these this cold stuff we did the other day, Morgan and I, in the uh, hopped wort. It's cold. Yep, nice and cold. Hopefully, that'll regulate the temperature a little bit, so it won't take so long to cool. I'm what? sure we're going to have to let it sit a little bit to cool, but... Okay, what is that you're putting in? We're putting in the specialty grains. We're putting in the chocolate infusion. And we're putting in <laughs> the... Hop. Put it back. The hop infusion that we did. See the chocolate on the bottom there? Can you see that? Yeah. Chocolate on the bottom of that. There's thick chocolate in there. Is that is Whoa, that is that down. chocolate? Yep. Is it real? Is it beer chocolate? Yeah. Not beer yet, honey. All right. Got your eye the chocolate. There's that one. Okay, last one. Keep hey. filming. Don't don't look away. One more after this. Okay. Okay, sir. What's that? It's all chocolate. And here's the one with just pure chocolate stuff in it. What so is we'll it? See. Is that beer? Yep, yeah, we'll see how it does. In it. Oh, it's getting brown. Getting brown? I can see that. Hot stuff, cold stuff. Ow! Hot! Hot beer. Trying not to get all this chunkies in there, but. Is it hot? That's good enough. I can see it dripping. I'll take the camera. Thank you, camera lady. All right, so, so far that's it. I'm gonna top it up. Still gotta let it cool for a little bit and put the yeast in. Yeast. And so far, this is the peppermint patty stout from uh, Wolf Slayer Brewing. So, Hi guys. until well, then. I just realized that cheers. I had to make a makeshift airlock because I remembered that my three-quarter hose got, or three-eighths hose got thrown away by accident. So, 
Well, I didn't clean it because I'm a lazy bastard. Mm -hmm. So I found out that I had this hose. So what happened was I needed to make a spur of the moment airlock. So one of these got cut off. I can still probably use this, maybe, I don't know. And it got fitted onto this. So that got fitted into here. And that got pushed into there. And there's our airlock. So once the beer gets cool, we're going to pop the yeast in and we're done. Cheers. <laughs> well, I think... I think the ghetto chilling is just about over. So we're gonna go in and pop in the yeast and call it a day. Huh? There it is guys, the peppermint patty stout. All right, there's one of my helpers right there. So until until next time, happy homebrew Wednesday to you all. Cheers. Cheers.